this video I'm going to be showing you how to add passwords to your Google form. I know adding passwords to Google form sounds funny, but it is actually very useful. If physics test is coming up for the students, the Google form is completely ready for responses. But the previous tests carried out by the teacher had a lot of unwanted responses in the Google form. So the teacher wants to lock the Google form. What do you mean by locking? We'll be adding a password unless and until the student has the exact password that the teacher has used. The student will not be able to access the Google form, which will prevent unwanted responses in the Google form. So let's get started. This is the Google form that we have here. This is the physics test that the students are going to be solving. Um, the first section has the enter your details part where you have to enter your name followed by the email address and your roll number. The next section contains questions with respect to physics. There are five questions that the students need to answer. In this, we have used the quiz feature. Say you want to refresh your knowledge in how to create a quiz in Google Forms. You can check out the blog link in the description. Also, if you want to learn how to create a blank Google Form and a simple basic Google Form, there is another link in the description that will show you how to create a Google Form. So let's go ahead and create a new section. So to add a new section, just click on the add section button. And um, by mistake, all the questions have been added to the next section. So just let's just, just name this the enter your details part. I'm gonna change the name. I'll be leaving the form link in the description if you want to say work with it. And uh, I'm gonna be changing this enter your details part to enter the password. So we have created the section successfully. The next step is to create the question. So we're going to be clicking on the plus sign that says add question. Click on it. And uh, here we're going to just type in what is the password. So before the test starts, the teacher has to provide the password to the student so that they can access the Google form. Next, we have added the section. We have added the question. It's time to use some response validation. So let's go and click on the three dots and click on response validation. Here you have a choice. You can you can select the type of entry that is going to be made like here. So it is not a number. It is not text. Sometimes your passwords might have underscores, slashes, full stops, commas. So we're going to keep it as a regular expression. So here you can enter anything like the password for this is going to be physics test underscore one, two, three. So you can have all of that and then you have the conditions whether it, it has to contain the pattern it does not contain it should match or it does not match so we're going to have contains and we're going to be writing here the password that is a physics test underscore one two three so this is the password what is this custom error text say you don't add the custom error text the students as soon as they enter a wrong password they will be able to view the password so if the student enters a wrong password, you have to write a custom error text for the students. So if they enter a wrong password, I'm going to be writing um, it is the wrong password. Or if you want, you can write your own custom error text. And we are done. We have added the question. We have added the section. We have added some validations also with the regular expression that contains the physics test underscore one to three password. What if the student skips the question and it does not answer this question? In order to prevent that, we'll make the question as required. So now the student won't be able to skip the question. Next, we are done with all the things that we have to do in order to add the password. It's time to preview what we have completed. So let's just click on the preview button. And here you can see the enter the password. So in this case, let's just not enter any password and just let's click next and it is telling you it is a required question then let's use the second test case that is we're going to be writing a wrong password so i'm just going to write are you in iran and if i click next it's telling me it is a wrong password it is the same custom error message that we had written now let's go back here now let's write the correct password that is physics test underscore one two three and after we're done let's click next here you can see that the Google form has successfully opened. Now you can add your name. Let's just do that. And my name, my email address, my roll number and click next. And now the students can access the questions. Also, it's going to be helping the teacher 
not get any unwanted responses in the Google form. So this is all for this video. I hope you understood how to add passwords to your Google form. See you in the next video.